The Kola Super Deep Borehole is the deepest hole in the world. Located near the Russian border with Norway on the Kola Peninsula, this was an ambitious Soviet project that attempted to drill as deep as possible into the Earth's crust. Drilling began on 24 of May 1970 using a special drilling rig, and in 1979 it became the deepest man-made hole in history. There are actually several holes, 23 cm diameter boreholes, that were drilled by branching from a central hole, with the deepest hole reaching 12,262 meters or 7.6 miles deep in 1989, making it the deepest human-made hole on Earth, and it remains so to this day in terms of true vertical depth. To put things in perspective, the hole's depth is the height of Mount Everest and Mount Fuji placed on top of one another. It's also deeper than the deepest point of the ocean, the Mariana Trench, located in the Pacific Ocean at a depth of 11,034 meters or 36,201 feet below sea level. Impressive as this may be, it is surprisingly shallow compared to Earth's depth. In total, the Kola borehole only penetrates about a third of Earth's crust and 0.2% of the entire distance to the center of the Earth. As mentioned in the beginning of this video, drilling began in 1970 and continued on and off until 1995. Scientists and researchers discovered that digging a deep hole to the center of the Earth is not that easy and even more difficult than expected. When drilling began at the Kola Super Deep Borehole site in the 1970s, the drill plowed through the granite rock rather effortlessly. However, when drillers reached about 4.3 miles, or 6.9 kilometers deep, the layers became more dense, and so it was more difficult to bore into. Drill bits started to break, and the team was forced to change the direction of the drilling several times. Drilling continued, but the deeper the drill went, the hotter the earth became, until it reached temperatures of 356 degrees Fahrenheit or 108 degrees Celsius, at about 7.5 miles or 12 kilometers down. As they drilled, engineers also discovered that at a certain depth, the rock had much more porosity and permeability. Paired with the extremely high temperatures, this made the rock behave more like a plastic than a solid, meaning the drilling would basically be virtually impossible. Thank you for choosing to watch our video. If you enjoyed so far, please like and subscribe to support our channel. We truly appreciate it. Now, Let's continue. These temperatures were beyond the capabilities of the drilling equipment, and although the Soviets pressed on until 1992, they never got any deeper than the depth they reached in 1989. Drillers had no choice but to discontinue the effort, and eventually the drilling terminated in 1995 due to a lack of funds. In 2005, the drill site was officially shut down and the hole was sealed. Were there any uses from these drillings? Yes. First off, scientists had to update the temperature map for the Earth's interior since they encountered temperatures much higher than expected. They also discovered liquid water far deeper than they had previously thought could exist. But that's not all, as another discovery was made and that was of biological activity in the rocks. At 4.4 miles or 7 kilometers deep, researchers found dozens of fossils from single-celled marine organisms dating back 2 billion years. With such an enormous and ambitious project, a question arises, can we dig even deeper than that? The answer is yes. However, digging deeper than 12 kilometers or 7.4 miles depends on two critical factors, temperature and borehole stability, taking into consideration the stress, strain, and drilling fluid composition and weight. In order to achieve that, you will need to be in possession of technologically advanced equipment, since temperatures even deeper are predicted to be as high as 500 degrees Fahrenheit or 250 degrees Celsius. The dream or goal of every such researcher is to reach Earth's mantle, the layer that begins just past Earth's crust, about 25 miles or 40 kilometers below our feet. Having fresh samples of the Earth's mantle can contain information on how the crust and mantle interact, how fluids and magma droplets escape from the mantle 
into the crust and ultimately into our hydrosphere and much more. Will we ever continue to dig deeper into the earth? We'll just have to wait and see. Thank you for watching. If you enjoyed our video, click on the video to the right as I guarantee you enjoyed it as well. Don't forget to like and subscribe to support our channel and I'll see you in the next video.